will provide explanation about the rooms and so forth. But um, on your forms that I gave you, the hotel name is on there, and it'll say either Nagahama Yogam or Ashiwana Hotel. And the bus will make two stops. Um, stop at each hotel. But I'll explain that later on. So right now you can just rest and um, relax for the next two hours. Alright, on the bus. Still in Tokyo. Just making our way through the city. Heading over to the Mount Fuji area. Now we're in the mountains. Getting in the, in the rugged terrain. It's very green. Okay, here, traditional style Japanese hotel, Ryokan. Very nice inside. Take your shoes, your shoes off here at the mudroom. And go up the stairs. There are rooms. We've sort of overtaken the entire place here. All these rooms, there's different runners, kind of grouped together. I'm over in this one, sharing with Jackie Lee from uh, Singapore and Barefoot Tech. Come over and show the common area. They have um, this center area. You can look down. They got. They're gonna have snacks down there for us the entire weekend. Help yourself. They have maps of the course we can look at, and somewhere down there, there's some other food. All the stairs had to do it. The race already started. <laughs> it's already finished. <laughs> it's a nice <laughs> Okay, we're getting a little tour of the trail. Show us what to expect from a typical Japanese trail and from some of the course markings that'll be up. So just a quick little look at what to expect. The trail looks great here. Gosh, if it's all like this, relatively soft, smooth. This is nice. It's cooler in the trees than it was out in the sun too, so that'll be helpful. Hopefully it's nice and covered. There's some markings. Ultra Trail Mount Fuji. Very nice. Switchback. very good part portion of the course itself. If you go to, go to the area of, of Mount Tenshi between eight, 8 and 9, is the trails are much, much steeper and rocky and slippery. And I heard that some part is a rope beside. Uh, 
be careful. Well, they dropped us off at a mall for any last minute shopping needs anybody needs and uh, they have a grocery store here. So people are just kind of hanging out, buying some food stuffs. And then we'll go for razor check-in in about an hour. It's noon, the race starts in three hours, and they have a little food left over here. So I'm getting a little lunch and relaxing, just been trying to sleep all morning. And showtime soon. ま、この度に株ランキさん含めてまた各視聴者の皆様、皆さんのために素晴らしいステージを用意しております。トラトエルマウント富士を開催できることに大きな喜びを感じるとともにこれまで苦労してともに来てきた多くの皆さんに対
I must feel the race like this in Japan and share with experience with the Japanese people. Five years later, this dream has come true. To tell the truth, the road has been very difficult and I couldn't made it, made it. Without the support and the complication, uh, comp comparison of many people. You will be sunk, uh, running across the two prefectures and through two towns and this race is only possible because of the cooperation of the local people from these towns. As you pass through these aid stations, please take the time to enjoy the local specialties. They have been they have prepared especially for you. Uh, here for the race. Please enjoy talking to the, uh, the staff and free food. feel free to show your appreciation. The UTMF is not about competing, uh, learning faster than everyone else as you make your way around Mount Fuji. I hope you challenge yourselves and enjoy this journey. At the same time, no, no, you will win it and have the courage to quit when you have to protect the environment. So your cooperation to follow the rules and regulation is very uh, greatly appreciated. I wish you all the best for the race and I really hope it becomes a great page in your life. Good luck, everyone! ウルトラトレイルというのの今最も熱い競技フランスイタリアスイスという参加国をまたぎトレイルレース最高峰と言われるザノースフェイスウルトラトレイルドゥモンブランその姉妹大会にこのUTMFは認定されました。ここでその
Eight miles. It's been about an hour and a half to get here. A lot of climbing. First single track we've hit. Asphalt, gravel road, then asphalt, and now some super soft, nice single track. Loving this. I'm going down there to an aid station somewhere. A mile and a half or so. Whew, watch step. I'm feeling too much. Well, these are going to be fun in about 20 hours. Finally, I'm starting not to notice those bear bells. Craziness. I was hoping to get it. Fuji sounds right over there. But we're going back in the trees. Still going down. Coming around. Fuji is up through there. There we go. Sun's getting lower. Get 
640, 17 miles or so, a little more. This is a really steep section right here. Straight up. got easy enough like the video is gnarly up there and dark not totally dark no way to pass Certainly as steep and technical as any Wasatch or the bear. Oh, I should not be trying to video this. Well, we came down out of the mountain. Now we're running along the road. My reckon is about a mile or so from the third aid station. Probably road all the way. Almost at the aid station. Delma! Looks like a finish line. Delma! Delma! This stuff's almost like mochi. Not quite like mochi, but very chewy. I think I can only get one of those things down, but at least I'll get one down. 
I'm like the next eight to ten miles, so I want to eat something here. I'm gonna say, I don't know, hook up, hold on. Hold on. Alright. I get to use my cup. Hey! Hey! Doctor, don't I get to use this cup that I have to carry. Got to use it at least once and show many more times. Okay. I'm out of aid station three. Lost a little time because I stopped to don some warm clothes. So, they make you carry a cup. Used it, so that's good. Now I know why they make you carry it. They don't supply cups when they don't have to. It's part of their environmentally friendly race. They make you uh, pack warm or uh, pants that at least cover the knee. I put them on because now we're going to climb some more. And it's already chilly here, so it's going to be chilly up there. Put my arm warmers on. These aren't required, but I put them on. Got the jacket on zipped up right now, but it'll be zipped down as soon as I stop climbing. Start climbing. Oh, and the headlamp's coming up. We're just heading straight up this hill. Super steep. Ooh, I can't walk backwards up it either. We've been descending this hellacious, steep descent for about a mile or so. Love these blinking markers. You can see them way off. If you know anything about Ben Blessing's Wild Idaho, well then you know that nasty motorcycle trail climb and then descent on the way back. That's what these climbs and descents are like. Dang! Sorry, Ben. I think I'm PRing my elevation gain here. You'd love it. My light got dim about two and a half miles ago, three miles ago. I can barely see. It's terrible because I got a lot of, a lot of dark left. I'm only a mile-ish from the aid station. I'm gonna swap my batteries out and they make it carry two lights. Huh. They might come in handy later. Fresh batteries at the age station will hopefully take me till uh, sunrise. I have another set of fresh batteries in my drop bag in case I have to go into tomorrow night, which undoubtedly I will. Just over 33 miles and eight and a half hours. Very good pace so far, but it's gonna slow down badly later. I can tell. Running through the night, it's moving better than I ever have, but that's because we have a 3 p.m. start. It's kind of nice. Almost to the aid station. Just made a left turn. It was a guy directing traffic. I thanked him in Japanese. He answered, you're welcome, in English. What the heck's that say about my accent, huh? It's dark, he can't see me. Oh well. Passed a girl back there. Australian living in Dubai. Moving to Florida in August. She did the Brazil 135 last year in 30 and a half hours. She's doing bad water this year, shooting for sub 30. She said, where the hell do I go? No, she didn't, oh, there's Mark. No, she didn't say that. She said that she's not used to this, obviously living in Dubai. But man, she's moving really well. 30 hour Brazil 135. She's pretty tough. Catherine, watch for her at uh, Bedwater. Yeah. This, you know, after running 
in pitch black. Super clear night, no clouds, no moon. Very dark night. Running on those rugged trails, doing the plunge like a dozen times in a row or something. The plunge is at Wasatch. You come and see this sight. It's kind of funky. Okay, choco banana. It's good to be <laughs> Ah, so it's choco banana. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's It's good. Chocolate on a banana <laughs> is a choco, choco banana. And over here they have a mushroom soup that is really yummy. Hot. Very hot. Mushroom soup. Like, very yummy. Mm. <laughs> Alright. I'm wasting time here but having a fun time so I'm gonna eat this and get on my way. All right, I'm out of that aid station. More lights on these cones. Very cool. Spent some time there, but we got half the soup down me and all that banana. So that's good. Only five-ish miles to the next station, too. Five and a half, something like that. Staying around, though, gets cold. Climbing up cinders, like sand. Climbing a sand dune. Hey, station five must be here. Okay, it's station five, they have soba noodles. Definitely gonna try to get as much of this in me as possible. It's, it's uh, getting close to 2 a.m. and uh, I'm really hungry, so I'll try to eat. Okay, this looks like uh, aid station six. This 3.7 miles is all on road. Started out super steep downhill. And then this little gradual climb, just a little bit too hard to run. So it's been a little bit slow. Yeah, that dude looks good. Hi, do you Hi. Do you want Hi, do you want 
Okay. Let's get some food. Some coke. Okay. This time we have noodles and pot stickers. And I'm sitting by a heater. Oh, there's Catherine in a blanket, getting cozy. This dude's got a coat on. Uh, it's for a reason cold. I'm gonna get this food in me and get out of here. This dude's falling asleep. He was just sitting, sitting there, nodding off. Almost fell off the chair. <laughs> he just lay down. I hope he doesn't fall into the heater. This guy's suffering a little bit. I am uh, warm by the heater. I got my food in me. And uh, while I'm warm, I'm going to go get some water into my bladder and get out of here. Okay. I did take some time to put on my extra shirt and my gloves before, while I was by that heater before I left. I figured better to do it by a heater than to strip down and get out here on the road. It's freezing. Now I'm wearing all the clothes I brought. The next 20 miles are rolly down. Pretty much downhill. A little bit of roll. So then the really nasty part gets gets there. I don't fall. We're going down a ski slope. Straight down. So you just entered a no passing section. Goodness gracious, it's like a rocky stream bed here. I put all those clothes on the top of now I'm way too hot. Seriously, there was markers, but I don't believe this is a trail. They made it up. Someone's pretending. It reminds me of what they do to you at Wasatch. The race directors do this and laugh. Okay, out of the stream bed. Got through some pretty gnarly stuff through there. And now we're on the road. Hi, uh, Domal. My guess is the road will take us to the aid station. But I don't really know where I am. The sky is just starting to light up a little bit. The sunrise is about. 4.30-ish or something like that. Okay, I was wrong. More gnarly stuff. Moss covered. Lava rock. Cinders. Sand. Steep ups and downs. Alright, the sun's coming up. I'm getting to age station 7. This is the start of the short course. I think it's like 82 kilo kilometers to go. First priority, bathroom. Second priority, drop bag. Let's figure out what I'm going to do with it. Okay, let's 
Station 7. おはようございます。おはようございます。一七一。ライト。ライト。はい。はい。どうも。荷物。荷物。はい。スイッチ。スイッチ。お、オッケー。They told me to wait. 一七。Oh hey, how you doing? Good. You keeping warm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. It's alright. Pretty gnarly, pretty hard. Do you need anything? Toilets there? I order? found one down there. Okay. That was first order of business. Yep, yep. Like Leaving checkpoint seven. Ohio Fujisan! Man, it's gonna be a bluebird day. That's why they're worried about the heat. No clouds today to block the sun. It's beautiful. It's such a beautiful mountain. From every angle I've seen it so far. Some stairs, super slippery. Really appreciate whoever put this bridge here. Up and down the stairs. Seriously, this is a stream bed, not a trail. See? Ah, here's the trail. Oh. Hey, hey, don't. Any questions on which way to go? <laughs> they marked it well through here. The path's hardly visible, but uh, all these white things are. See that down there? It's a rope. It's a steep set of stairs down to the bottom of this little gully. A rope to help you get up to the next steep step of, set of stairs to go up. I'm moving pretty slow right now, but I keep catching people. I think there's a guy about to catch me though. Finally, the water station. Oh, thank you. Very nice. To the next station, take it. Um, eat, moi, tomo. That's that's the way. I'm fine on water for 11k. I was a little overhydrated, so I've been skimping on water. I was stopping all the time to pee. So I think it's getting better though. Feeling pretty good. 11K. And then aid station eight, where I will eat as much as I can. I will fill up my bladder completely full. Rumor has it they're gonna do a gear check there. Make sure you got everything, because after that is a section everybody's been dreading. 17 miles unsupported of the toughest part of the course. And let me tell you, that's saying something. 
starts out with steep climb, a nasty roller coaster, a big climb up, more nasty roller coaster, and then just a plunge down to his station nine. Or we get some deer meat and curry. Looking forward to that. Okay, I think I finally made it to hit station eight. Finally, oh my god. I've been in a low for a long time. I'm behind on food. My feet are killing me. Thank you. I gotta check out my heels, see if there's anything I need a doctor or just deal with. But first food. Yeah, there we go. Come on, Yato. Clusters on both heels. I had to talk them into popping them. They didn't, really didn't want to pop them. But they're just going to get bigger and bigger. The one on the left is already pretty big. The one on the right is small. It's going to be fine. Picture. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It will be so hard. <laughs> はい、パンクチュー。はい。どうも。There is no way those band-aids are going to stay on. They're going to bunch up and cause tons of problems. So I'm going to re-doctor what the doctor did on both heels and fix it. As soon as I got that band-aid off, it was all full of pus again. So I took... Uh, Scissors, you cut a big old wedge in it, let it really drain. When it stopped, then I uh, put a blister pad on and then uh, put this over it. And it's still coming up a little bit, so I'm going to put some duct tape on there to the good skin and make sure that sticks. Alright, there we go. I'm going to call that good and see if it lasts. Might have to do some doctoring on the trail, who knows. Alright, this one's sticking, so I'll have done a better job. So we'll do an experiment. Duct tape and no duct tape. Alright, time to uh, get stuff together and get out of Dodge. Okay, finally. Ooh, I'm climbing up a little cliff here. Finally left that aid station, aid station eight. Getting ready to start a tough 17 miles. Took forever because of my dang feet, my pickled feet. Thank you very much, Emily. So uh, they're pretty painful. The left one's painful, the right one's no big deal. I made my, uh, put my shoes a little bit tighter. Hopefully it's not a bad thing, we'll see, I'll adjust. But I'm trying to minimize the slipping. Um, but I feel better because I had time to eat and rest. The doctor had no idea how to treat it. 
blisters for someone who's not going to get off their feet. It's like, yeah, I just put a tape on it and basically stop doing stuff. <laughs> um, you know, but, uh, sorry, but we're not going to get off it, so. <clears throat> Hopefully they're good. Good enough to get me 34 miles at least. This next section, apparently people have been having some trouble with. Um, I got two liters of water with me. My pack weighs about 11 pounds. About, I weighed it at home. And I'll get 200, I'll get half a liter of water after 20k. So, I'm gonna go pretty slow through here. Hopefully as I get walking on my feet, it won't hurt so much. Hi, Domo! Hi, Domo! Okay, here we go. And we're still at the beginning of the climb. Holy moly. Very rudy. Alright. That's enough video. I need to get these poles working. Okay. I think I'm at the top for a while. Before another big thousand foot climb. That was unreal. Oh my god. Folks and boys will get it. So imagine climbing from Warm Springs to the top of Lucky Peak. But instead of doing it in six and a half miles, do it in two miles. That oh, was just silly. That was so hard. Okay, so they had a couple people out back there in the sign calling this section out as caution. It's dangerous. Go slow. Be careful. My question is, what do they think we've been doing? This whole thing is dangerous. You know, Ben, blessing, nothing personal about the Wild Idaho, the, uh, the motorcycle trail and the Roller coaster, that's hard, no doubt. But that's mouse nuts compared to this. Holy moly. I think I'm at the top, or close to it. 6,200 feet, 10 and a half miles or so. About six hours. six and a half miles left to go <clears throat> it's foggy and cold windy and now it's starting to sprinkle nice I'd like to get off this thing before it gets dark but I don't know got a nasty oh I got a little up and down to do for some of the six and a half then I got a nasty uh, I don't know 4,000 foot plunge three and a half thousand foot plunge Just over 6,400 feet, almost 6,450. Keep looking around. Here's the uh, marker. I gotta go. Okay, I think the worst is over. Boy, that was terrible. So my garment battery died, but I did the half marathon in 6.50, 5.0. It's that hard. I reckon I have a couple-ish, two and a half miles to go. Mm. 
Beautiful. Foggy, windy. Okay, windy and cold. Really didn't need this to complete the experience. Okay. Alright, I made it to A Station 9 just before headlamp time. Gotta love that. 17 miles to go after this. Gotta eat. Gotta eat. Come on. Come on. Oh, I wish this was the finish line. Come on. Come on. Hi. Yes. How are you doing? I'm okay. How are you? Tired. Yeah? Not very much. No, I didn't enjoy it. It was very hard. Are you okay with the more water? Yeah. Plenty of water. Oh, sorry. Plenty of water. Thank you. Okay, dear meat curry, here we come. I am going to sit here and eat this dinner. Because I'm starving and I need some food. I got 17 miles left. Slow and easy, but I need some fuel. After that, I'm gonna lube up somewhere, hopefully semi-private, and put on my pants because it's cold outside and windy. It's gonna get more windy, they were saying. And I'll do the last leg. It's getting dark outside, second sunset, but I will be finished before sunrise. Unless something really bad happens. Okay, here we go. Out of uh, the last aid station, eight miles. And then there's a, uh, a water stop. And then 8.4 or something miles after that. <sighs> Felt really cold earlier, but it doesn't feel so cold now because I'm out of the wind. But uh, I'm gonna make sure I'm toasty. Walking a little bit just to loosen up again because I sat there a little while, got all that food in. The curry was spicy. Took a Tums just for, for good measure. But it was really good. So I'm feeling good right now. Just need to loosen up the legs and start running. Just took another Tums. Been having curry burps. Whenever I get to this water station, I'll take my last S cap and my last scoop. It's gonna be good to be done with those. Okay, there's the water stop. Last one. That eight miles took forever, at least two hours of it. My legs feel surprisingly good, but my feet are painfully pickled and uh, making it very difficult. Get the water going and get out of here. A couple miles or so from the end, running along the lakefront. Totally ready to be done. Coming into the finish. Hi, Domo. I've been racing a guy for about a mile and a half. He's an 80 here. I passed him. Big surprise to me. Even how slowly I was going. I figured, hell. I'm not gonna let him pass me back. Uh oh, I am in so much pain. I don't think it's called the agony of victory.
どうもー。Hi. Oh, they gotta take off my chips. Thank you. How you doing? Oh, other than、uh, hamburger feet, I feel great. <laughs> Okay, so、uh, I'm at the finish now, and I gotta say, Emily and Davina put on a much better finish than、uh, folks here, despite their big budget. There's nothing here. There's no good food. It's just some junk and and not much else. They expect you to finish and leave, I guess, which is what I'm doing. Waiting on my ride.、Um, stop by a 7-Eleven or something to buy some food. I'm in bad need of food right now. And.、Uh, Go back to the hotel and eat and hang out and shower. One of the first things, because I stink pretty badly. Oh, I beat that guy. He made me work for it, full on sprint, both of us. But I stayed ahead. It's good to be done. On. People are just chatting, getting pictures together. Volunteers are grouping and taking pictures of each other. All the volunteers had quite a journey too. They were pretty amazing. I think at the beginning they said they had a thousand volunteers. 